hello guys welcome to the year 9 session in the previous session we have learned what is the variable and how to use this in this session we will learn how to use the variable inside the fragment for example here along with those basic details you want to obtain the specific repository detail first of all i am going to create a fragment or a user type and obtain the id name url and bio use the fragment here click on the execute button here we got the result as per the our expectations now we want to obtain the detail for the particular repository for this we need to use the repository field it take the repository name let me use the entity framework code demo which is the name of one of my repository for this repo obtain the name and url click on the execute here we got the result but here we have specified repository name string statically we can also use the variable here just like this for this let add variable in the query name repo name of type string and a specify value for the both of the variable click on the execute here we got the result if you change the value of those variable it will reflect the result as well as now you may think that why these variables are available in fragment because it was defined in the query only we have used the fragment inside a query so it will be available when executing this query let's see what we are learning in this session it is possible for fragment to access the variable declared in the query or the mutation here we have passed the repo name stay tuned for the next session